of course the first thing that I'm going to be doing is wetting my hair in the sink. Um, a lot of people ask why I like to wash my hair in the sink. That's just because it works the best for me. I hate washing my hair in the shower and I also get really bad back knee. That's acne on your back if you didn't know. Um, when I do wash my hair in the shower and my neck also hurts really bad when I do that. So this just works better for me. So just do what works for you. This works really well for me. So of course I'm going to be co-washing because I co-wash every single week when I wear my hair curly. And today I'm going to be co-washing with the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner. But I just focus this on my roots and I also drag it down to my ends a little bit. But I mainly try to focus this on my roots because... My scalp does get kind of itchy, um, but this conditioner works really well as a co-wash conditioner. I like it a lot. You guys know I love this line because I'm obsessed with the deep conditioner. So yeah, I'm just co-washing my hair and making sure that it's nice and clean. And by the way, I only shampoo my curly hair about once a month and I wear my hair curly about five months out of the year. So when I wear my hair curly, I only shampoo once a month because if I shampooed every single week, my hair would be really dry. So co-washing every week tends to work the best for curly hair. Okay, after I co-wash, I like to deep condition, of course. You guys know Kendra and I are strong believers in deep conditioning, and I use the same line. It's amazing, and I like to use the matching oil as well. Let me know if you guys want an updated deep conditioning routine. I can definitely film that for you guys. So here I'm just going to be sectioning my hair into four quadrants so I can start styling. So for my wash and goes, I like to stick to the lock method. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically leave-in oil cream in that order. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today and what I always do when I'm doing a wash and go. And for my leave-in, I'm going to be using the Ozzy Mega Moist Conditioner. Now this is not a leave-in. This is actually a rinse-out conditioner, but this is a really good way to save money because a lot of rinse-out conditioners you can actually leave in your hair and use them as a styler and they give amazing hold and make your hair super, super soft. So this is a really good way that Kendra and I like to save money. We just find one of our favorite drugstore conditioners and leave it in. You can also co-wash with this. It's a really good co-wash conditioner as well because the Aussie Moist has a lot of slip so I just really like this to leave in my hair it makes it super shiny and defines my curls really really well so I've been using this as a leave-in a lot lately So I'm going to evenly distribute this from root to tips through each section of my hair and I'm not light handed with this. I do apply a lot. That's because my leave-in conditioners or the thing that I'm using as a leave-in, I like to apply the most of that. So that way I don't have to apply as much of my cream after the oil. So I'm just going to be clipping my hair back up after I've applied my leave-in because you don't want the hair to start to dry because you still have to put in your oil and your cream. So keep that in mind where you're using more than one product to style your hair. Just clip it back up so that it doesn't dry before you finish styling because you don't wanna apply product to dried hair because it's not going to absorb into the hair shaft that well. So you wanna apply your styling products to wet or damp hair. But I recommend wet hair because that's how you get the most defined curls. So keep a spray bottle handy if your hair is drying out while you're styling because as you can see I have water dripping down my neck because I like to apply my styling products to super wet hair because like I said that's how you're going to get the most defined curls.
Okay, so next I'm just going to apply my oil and my cream. So for the oil, I'm just going to be using this Dove Regenerate Nourishment Serum Slash Oil. I really like this. It smells so, so good and it makes my curls super shiny and soft. So I'm just going to apply a few pumps of this into each section and I'm going to follow that with my Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish Buttercream. I love this stuff. I have used this as a leave-in before, but I've been using it lately as a cream because it does say buttercream. So it works really well as a finisher, like I'm using it now. And by the way, when I'm applying my oil and my cream, I make sure I like mash the product into my hair just to make the curls clump together so that they're nice and bouncy once they dry. So mashing the product in really helps to define the curls and make them clump together a lot better. Okay guys, so this is all of the products in my hair. Now I'm just going to let my hair air dry. I try not to touch it because touching it can make it frizzy. So I just basically air dry for the rest of the day. And that usually takes about 12 hours. Sometimes a little bit longer depending on how much product I use, but about 12 hours. So now it's the next day and I'm going to be scrunching out the crunch with one of my handy dandy oils and today I'm just going to be using my PYT Argan Oil Super Serum and I don't think this is in the drugstore but I think you can get it online it was sent to me but it smells amazing it kind of smells like cheese silk infusion which used to be in one of my favorite serums I need to get some more because that stuff is amazing um, I like to use it on my straight and my curly hair so I'm not that picky when it comes to oils or serums on my curly hair as I am with my straight hair. So that's why I had so many because I'm not that picky about the oils or serums that I apply because I'm just using it to add some shine and to scrunch out whatever crunch that the styling products left behind. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. And I'm basically going to style my hair as usual. And I just like to basically flip my hair over to the left side just because I like to wear it like that. And it's weird because my straight hair, I like to wear to the right side. But I like to switch it up so that my hair doesn't get used to being parted one way. So my curly hair, I just stick with the left side. Okay guys, so that pretty much completes my current favorite drugstore curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you try some of these products because they're super inexpensive at the drugstore and they work amazing. They work just as good or if not better as any high-end product for curly hair. So give these products a go and I will see you guys in my next video.